Hey guys, Mark from GuitarGuts.com here today to show you how to add side marker dots to a guitar. I love this Takamine Classical, but it doesn't have any side marker dots, and I've tried to draw them on with Sharpies. You can see some of them are still there, but um, they wear away, and it also has no face markers, so I'll be leaving it like that for now, but I need some side markers if I'm going to play this thing, so let me show you what tools you're going to need. Okay, these are the tools we'll be using for the job, so... Um, of course, starting with a set of the side markers, I'm going to be installing these abalone ones. I got these from Stumac. Um, they have a lot of cool stuff there. These are glow-in-the-dark ones I bought too. I wanted to try a couple out and see what I liked best. I bought some green ones and blue, both glow-in-the-dark, and I charged them up by leaving them just out in the light. And then um, put them in my hand and tried to look at them, but the blue ones didn't seem like they really glowed too much. The green ones are pretty awesome, so I'll probably be doing something with some green ones on a future project. Um, I use some calipers, first off, to measure my inlays. So they squeeze down and give you a real precise measurement. If you know the size of your inlays, you won't even need that. Um, or of your side markers, I should say, that we're going to inlay. Um, this is the drill bit, so I already measured mine. I found out this, is, this size is almost dead on. It's actually almost a little smaller so I might not even need to glue these in. You may need to glue them in depending on how tight of a fit they are with whatever drill bit you're going to be using. Um, this is a center punch so I'll be using this just to kind of mark my dead on center spots so I'm not going to have my drill bit wandering and sliding around as I'm trying to drill these perfectly straight precise holes. Uh, as you can see they're not going to be need to be very deep holes because um, these these inlays are not deep, they're not very uh, thick material. There we go. So, I'll also be using the calipers to measure them. I'll show you a little trick in a second um, to measure the depth. So I'll be using the center punch to keep them all in a straight line and obviously, obviously a small hammer like this. I like a small one like this for the job because it's not overkill, you're not going to mess anything up. You just very lightly tap it in, leave a little mark, get your drill point dead on so obviously the drill and then we got the tape so the tape is actually going to be for the drill bit I'll show you what I'm going to do here I'm going to measure the depth of the uh, the side marker inlay and then I'm going to take a piece of tape and mark the the same uh, measurement right here on the drill bit and I'll show you what that looks like in just a second so then I know exactly when I'm drilling from the side how far in to drill kind of lets you know. Very simple trick. I'll take out one of these side markers. Okay, then I'm going to take the calipers here and measure from the, the face of it to the back of it. So that's how deep this is going to be. The distance inside here. Now I'm going to take my drill bit and I'm going to measure that far down. Just like that. And mark it with tape. You just wrap the tape around, and here you can see just a tiny bit left out right on top. That's the depth that we just measured. So that's how I'm going to know when I hit the, the tape up against the neck when I'm drilling in, that's when to stop. Okay, so I've got a real light duty hammer right here. And uh, if you have a bigger hammer, obviously be even more gentle than you see me being. Here we have the third fret. Make sure you double check your work before you start doing this stuff too. Don't be drilling them out without uh, double checking and all of a sudden you got a, a marker on the second fret and then the fifth fret and then the seventh. If you, if you get these off, there's no going back. Okay, so we got it at the third fret. Put this right in the center. Put a little scratch there like that. We get it on the fifth fret. Push that right in just to leave a little mark that you can just visually see. Now if you really want to get fancy, you can keep going up the neck further. You can go up to the 15, 17, 19th frets, but for me, um, I marked them with the Sharpie a while ago. I can still see them. Honestly, I don't really play up there that often on this guitar, so I'm going to leave it. And also with the drill, it's kind of hard to get in at this angle. Let me pull the camera back a little bit. You can see if I try to drill in here, 
my the body of the drill is up against the guitar body and it's still not going in straight so you need some type of real long bit that would come way further back behind the guitar you know so that you can clear back here your your drill okay now uh, now that we have our little markings there I can put a little bit more of a, a little tap on these to prevent the drill bit from wandering we like to we like to do these kinds of things Those all look awesome. Let's do this. Okay, we got the first one. And there we have it. Fit in there really good. Can't feel it on the back, even though I had to. Uh, you can feel it a tiny bit, but it doesn't stick out at all. Um, had to tap it in a little extra with the hammer, but that's fine with me. So time to do some more. Another thing about this hammer is it's a finishing hammer. So if you notice the side, it's very smooth. It doesn't have like a waffle or anything like that on it. It's made so that you could tap in holes on finished products like a guitar or, you know, in a house for carpentry. And there you have it. This guitar now has side marker inlays. That's awesome. This guitar does have like a cheap laminate to it. It's only a $350 guitar, so you do see a little bit of almost um, lifting of the laminate coat around where I drilled out, but to be honest, it's been uh, kind of a pain not having inlays and having to redraw them on with a Sharpie, so this is something I've wanted to do for a while and felt this guitar should have came with that from the factory, but um, it's not going to look like it came from the factory. It'll look good though, so um, that's fine with me. If this was like a natural, more natural type of wood, not something with like a, a veneer or like a laminate top on it like this, then it wouldn't, I don't think it would have that same problem. Alright, thanks so much for watching guys, and uh, check out my channel, subscribe if you enjoyed this video, I've got other how-to videos and all kinds of cool guitar content on there, so um, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.